Today I am going to show you how we can create packages inside Laravel to make our code modular which will help us to get a composer required of that package in some other project and easily reuse it. To start off, I am going to use the learning Laravel 5 code base and inside that I will create a folder called package or other packages and then my entire code will be in that folder. So to quickly set up a new package, I'll go into package, I'll create a folder called packages, PSEK packages, then let's name my packages to do. So it will be Amitav to do. That will be the folder structure. And then inside the to do, there will be a source folder and inside the source folder, I will have a service provider. So it will be to do service provider. So as you can see, I have a package folder inside that Amitav to do source. And then inside the source, I have the service provider. Let's save this file. This is a PHP file. So just all right. Now that I have the folder structure ready, I have to create an important file which is the composer.json file for this package. So let me go to my terminal and then I will quickly go inside packages Amitav to do. I should have the source folder here. Yes. Inside this, I'll do composer in it and it will ask me a series of questions for example what is the name of the package it's amitav slash to do which I'm okay with I'll hit enter description a small to do app all right author amitav Roy reach me at amitavroy.com which is correct minimum stability I will use right now as dev package type I can skip license let's say MIT define your dependencies I don't want to define it right now so I'll do no again a no and it will ask me whether it should generate this file or not I'll say yes all right so I should have the file ready correct so as you can see the name is Amitav slash to do this is the description the rest of the things now inside the composer JSON there are a few important things which we need to add first we need to add illuminate slash support and let's say this will be at 5 yes this is the package which is required whenever we develop a Laravel package okay and I'll need to also let this package or rather the Laravel app know what are the files that are going to be auto loaded and how. So I'll create auto load colon. Let's close it up. Okay, and inside this autoload should have PSR sorry PSR 4 and in that I will add the namespace which is for my package it will be Amitav two backslashes to do again two backslashes and this should load everything from inside the source folder remember this is very important because when my package is going to be loaded inside the vendor folder this is what is telling the Laravel application what are the files and from where it should pick it up all right so we have the composer.json file ready and now the service provider implements uh, the service provider class so first let me do the namespace namespace will be Amitav to do 
okay and my class name is to do service move header it extends the service provider class okay i need to use dominate support support service provider and to get this service provider class i need to write two functions which is register and in this i will say this app bind sorry mm, let's name it to do function pass the argument on the app and this return new to do all right so this is where we are returning the to do application this is the function which is called whenever we add our service provider inside the config slash app.php file okay and the next function which i need to write is the boot function inside this i will inside this i will require my routes file so i'll say loading the routes file right let's require require let's get the current path slash http routes.php i need to create that so inside the packages amitav to do source i'll create an http folder and inside that i have the routes.php file so in this routes file i'll create one url let's say sorry php to do slash list and for now let's just write in some simple text here is my to do list just to see if things work properly okay all right so what have we done till now we have the service provider ready in the boot function i have said this is the routes and i have the routes.php file ready as well so let's go to config app.php and let's add our class so it will be amitav slash to do slash service provider class to do service provider so let's make sure it's exactly the same okay but you know what we are still going to fail if we try to load it i'll show you let's just clear it out go to the root folder which is l5 and if i do artisan as you can see this class is not available why the basic reason is the laravel app is still not aware of our package because our code is inside the packages folder and there is no way for laravel to know that there is some code which is inside this folder structure now to load that what we need to do is add the same inside the composer.json file which is in the root of our directory so i'll go to the root composer.json and in this inside psr4 i will add my entry by the way i'm very sorry about the formatting of this json file for some reason the autosave had done a horrible indentation so 
for the namespace amita slash to do okay it should load packages amita slash to do slash source all right so i am telling the composer.json that if you find any namespace which is amitav slash to do then you need to pick up files from inside the packages folder amitav to do and the source okay let's now run composer dump auto load and then run php artisan all right so we didn't get the error which means now we are loading it so i'll quickly do php artisan serve my installation is running on localhost port 8000 if i do a refresh it's working and what was our route it was to do slash list come here say to do slash list and we are getting what Ever we are returning from the route now this is inside the routes file right this is not the real life scenario or this is not how we do our apps so we need a controller so I'll quickly add a controller the controller should be inside the HTTP folder. So let's create that controller. Packages come without to do source HTTP and inside this I will say to do controller dot PHP. Okay. Now obviously the namespace will be Amitav slash to do slash HTTP and let's create a class to do controller this will extend the controller and to get this i'll need i'll need to use app http controllers controller class all right let's get rid of this so how do we register a controller or the how do we tell the route about a controller inside a package so the path will be amita Let's call our function get user to do list. Right? Save this file. This is our to do list. For now, we will again return simple text. This is my list to do list from the controller. Okay, so far so good. Hit refresh and we are done. So as you can see, we are loading routes from inside our own package and the data is also coming from inside our own controller. The very important thing which you need to take care of is that any changes or any auto loading that we do inside the composer.json inside this package is not readily available in the application those changes are only available when you know your package is inside the composer.json's require or require.dev section but we don't have that so any auto loading or any require of any PHP file for helper functions should 
come inside the composer.json when you are developing the package. So this is the first part where I have shown you how to create the basic structure of our package and in the next lesson I'll show you how to have our own migrations, models to get started with the to-do app. If you like this tutorial, hit the thumbs up icon and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.